Welcome, guests of International Conference on Business, Economics, Law, Language, and Psychology. My name is Brisa, and today I will present my bachelor thesis research on the effect of CSR perception towards student consumer purchasing intention on personal care of MCG. This is a cross-country study between the Netherlands and Indonesia. As an author, this is Brisa Daniel Nadia Himawan. I serve as a double degree student from Bandung Institute of Technology in Indonesia, majoring in business management, and the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, majoring in international business. This presentation is the author's bachelor's thesis, published with the University of Groningen. In this presentation, the content will all be about my research paper from the background and the research objectives to the conclusion. This research revolves around two CSR pyramid priority models by Carroll, which is improved by Fisher. The CSR priorities for businesses are sorted by Carroll by economic, legal, ethical, and philanthropic responsibilities. However, due to the differences of national landscape, Fisher argued that developing countries should have their own pyramid, which is sorted out as economic, philanthropic, legal, and ethical responsibilities. The author's concern here lies on whether customers will still buy from CSR-driven FMCG brands that have level of high, high level of sub substitutes, since applying much CSR could be very expensive and might impact prices, which then diminish FMCG's objectives, which is to provide low-cost everyday products. Moreover, the author is also curious on whether the high price sensitivity affects their intention to purchase CSR-driven FMCG products. As this is a cross-country study, the author will present data from both developing and developed country, which is Indonesia and the Netherlands, and then compare the result and differences in CSR priorities from the two countries. This research will limit its scope to the Netherlands and Indonesia as a representative of both developed and developing countries, student consumer as a sample, and within the context of personal care of MCG. This research would contribute to a student perspective of CSR perception and their buying intention on CSR products, comparison on CSR perception in Netherlands and Indonesia, and newer information on different priorities of CSR in developed and developing countries. The author come up with two research questions with one sub-research question. For the first research question, will different kinds of CSR in for personal care of MCG work differently to drive students in both the Netherlands and Indonesia into purchasing CSR-driven product, considering their respective perception of CSR? This, uh, the sub-first research question is, which is which CSR element is the most important CSR to be applied in personal care of MCG for student consumers. Does the result differ between countries? And the third one, uh, and the second research question is, does price sensitivity play an important role in moderating the effect of CSR perception on student purchase intention? The literature review focuses on the concept of CSR and the pyramid explanation in which CSR is defined by Bowen as the obligation of businessmen to pursue policies, to make decisions, or to follow line of actions which are desirable in the terms of objectives and the value of our society. In CSR pyramids, we have four kinds of CSR based on Carroll's uh, pyramid. Uh, which is first is economic responsibilities, which is a strategies that are centered towards the aim of making profits, legal responsibilities, which is the obeying legal necessity as an obligation for businesses. The third one is ethical responsibilities, that is an obligation that is expected by the societal member of the area, such as not to harm the members of society or the business doer. And the last one is the philanthropic responsibility, which is the responsibility to be a good corporate citizen or, in other words, contribute to the community. Uh, the author actually have a... Uh, different variables here. We have uh, perceived CSR perception as independent variable with four contents of uh, CSR, which is economic, legal, ethical, and philanthropical. Also, uh, we have student purchasing intention on CSR-driven personal care, FMCG, as the dependent variable, and country and price sensitivity as the moderators. Also, uh, the author included control variables of age, gender, education, and disposable income. In total, this research have 
five hypotheses and two sub-hypotheses presented in this slide. Firstly, due to the strict CSR rules applied in early days by developed country, the notion of CSR is much more explored and people are more aware and society conscious before buying in developed countries. Hence, for hypothesis one, perceived corporate social responsibility has a positive significant effect on student purchase intention in the Netherlands. Secondly, CSR perceptions in Indonesia is claimed to be improving due to more exposure of social media followed by globalization. Hence, hypothesis two, perceived CSR has a positive significant effect on student purchase intention in Indonesia. For sub-hypothesis 1 and 2, the author tested the accuracy of both Carroll's and Fisher's pyramid between students in the Netherlands and Indonesia. Thirdly, taken from evidences from the first and second hypothesis, the author concludes perceived co corporate social responsibility has a positive significant effect on the overall student purchase intention. Fourthly, due to the long history of CSR in the Netherlands, customer could be equipped with a high awareness of social responsibility before making purchase decision. While Indonesia just implemented CSR law in 2007 and consumer awareness only spread recently due to social media. Hence, hypothesis Four mentioned that the effect of perceived CSR on student purchase intention is stronger in the Netherlands than in Indonesia. Lastly, due to the price sensitivity found in FMCG products, the author proposed hypothesis 5, which is price sensitivity negatively moderating the relationship between CSR perception and student purchase intention. So this is a conceptual model. We have CSR perception as the independent variable and purchase intention as the dependent variable. CSR perception has four uh, components, economic, legal, ethical, and philanthropical. We have also a country and price sensitivity as the moderators and age, gender, education, and income as the control variable. For the methodology, the author is using quantitative research using survey questionnaire. The data is also collected through the Qualtrics survey platform. Survey is using Likert scale in which one is strongly disagree to five strongly agree. Questions are taken from reputable sources with an addition of FMCG context specification. Analysis method is using IBM SPSS statistic version 29.0. The linear regression will be done for hypothesis 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And independent sample t-test is done for sub-hypothesis 1 and 2. For data collection, the author uses stratified random sampling of students in the Netherlands and Indonesia who consume personal care FMCG products with the requirement of minimum 18 years of age, currently staying in that particular country and have been a resident for more than 10 years to avoid possible reliability issues since both countries have different economic spending habits. Samples collected include 115 Indonesian and 72 Dutch students after missing values had been handled. This has a various ranges of age, gender, education level, and disposable income. For the demographics, 82.9% are in the tertiary education stage, 67.4% are within the age group of 18 to 21, 66.8% are female, 47.2% in the Netherlands has a disposable income between 751 euros to 1,000 euros, and 83.5% in Indonesia have disposable income between 0 to 4 million rupiah. This tells us that most respondents of this research come a year come from a younger generation, mostly Generation Z. And B, most Indonesian respondents do not own a side job or got a lower paying job, while students in the Netherlands mostly already have an adequate salaries. This is the result of the linear regression. For hypothesis 1 till 3, it is accepted, and for hypothesis 4 to 5, it is rejected. While for the results of t-test, um, it is both rejected for sub-hypothesis 1 and 2 because both Netherlands and Indonesia shows a different result compared to Carroll's and Fisher's pyramid of CSR priorities. The first three hypotheses are accepted, proving right that as students' CSR perception increases, so does student purchasing intention on CSR-driven personal care of MCG in the Netherlands and Indonesia. 
For the subhypothesis, the first subhypothesis and the second subhypothesis are also rejected. For the subhypothesis, the conclusion is that the student consumer in the Netherlands ranks CSR priorities in the order of legal, ethical, economic, then philanthropic. Uh, it is ranked from the most important to the less important, while Indonesians has it ranked by legal, ethical, philanthropical, and then economic. The low priority seen in economic responsibility for both countries could be explained by the fact that customers expect companies to do more than just making a profit. And students and customers uh, do not actually buy products based on how businesses make profits. They expect companies to be legal and ethical uh, as uh, consumer punishment, punishment awaits if unethical and illegal practices surface, which also justify why legal and ethical responsibility plays as the two most important priorities for both countries. The higher priority in philanthropic in Indonesia compared to the Netherlands is explained by the fact that Indonesians put more importance on philanthropic responsibility due to the government's incapability to fix social problems, and the company is also expected to participate in solving these problems. For the hypothesis four, which answered the first um, research question, it is also rejected because the result shows non-significance. Hence, uh, it is concluded as the effect of perceived CSR on student purchase intention has little to no difference in between the Netherlands than in Indonesia. This might be because the sample is younger generation that is the most affected by technological advancement. Indonesian customer can see information and news through social media, receive information and affected by globalization, keep up with developed country notions, or even respond to these notions. In research uh, conducted by Ali et al., it is claimed that CSR communication through social media affect the buying behavior of a brand where consumers globally could share awareness of smart buying with corporates who have clean legal and ethical records, also growing trust on these brands. For the hypothesis five, it is also rejected as the result shows non-significance. This answers the second, uh, second research question. This is then concludes that there is no moderation of price sensitivity in, rate, in relative of the relationship between CSR perception and student purchase intention. This could be explained by the fact that there could be more meaningful aspect that could affect the relationship, such as product quality, product sustainability, or brand loyalty, especially in the context of a wider variety of affordable personal care. And, and then, moreover, there could also be another variable that would increase the effect of CSR perception towards purchase intention in a personal care FMCG context like brand loyalty, suitability, and quality as moderators, or peer pressure and brand reputation as mediators. Further research is required to analyze this. So this research hence contribute to two things. The first thing is that younger generations from developing countries are improving and developing, exposed to globalization through social media, develop com country notions and ideas, and participating in a lot of information dissemination regarding CSR that could shift and improve their understanding of CSR, which could affect their purchase intention and increase purchase involvement in FMCG products. The second one is that Dutch and Indonesian students got legal and ethical responsibility as their most important aspect of CSR done by the company, while philanthropic responsibility plays more importance on students in Indonesia compared to the students in the Netherlands. This research then recommend personal care FMCG companies to actually pay more attention to legal and ethical responsibility before other responsibilities, create more philanthropic activities in developing countries to increase presence, treat both developed and developing countries as countries that are aware of CSR and its importance, focus on increasing product value and CSR initiatives instead of price competition to increase brand presence, and use social media to communicate CSR initiatives to the younger demographics to gain brand trust. This research has three limitations, which is the first one is to have 
low sample size and it might not represent the whole Dutch and Indonesian student population. The second one is low model explanation. This is due to the uh, more unexplored, unquantifiable variables. And the third one is the result cannot be generalized to all developed and developing countries because different countries has different kinds of institutional gaps and uh, national landscape. For further research, research could be done with, with a larger sample by considering the other qualitative, qualitative variable that could intervene the effect and comparing different sets of countries. In conclusion, this cross-country study between the Netherlands and Indonesia concluded that student CSR perception affect their purchase intention in CSR personal care of MCG products in both countries. However, the result also shows that the country does not moderate the particular relationship and that there is little to no difference in country results on CSR perception, proved by the development of CSR ideology in Indonesia. Due to younger samples, Dutch and Indonesian students react differently to their CSR priority rankings compared to CSR pyramids of Carol and Fieser. Moreover, it is also concluded that price sensitivity does not affect the relationship between CSR perception and purchase intention. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you want to see more of the details on the presentation, such as the appendix, you could access the link presented in the slide. For more inquiries, you can contact me through email or LinkedIn that is also presented within the slide. Thank you once again and have a good day.